Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to be able to share with you our latest collaboration with Olafur Arnolds. And this is his Composer Toolkit. It's a collection of different sounds and textures that are the kinds of things that Olafur likes to create his music with. And I think it's going to be very, very useful to a lot of composers and producers out there. So we're going to start with the kind of centerpiece of the library, which is the felt grand piano. So a lot of you will be familiar with our felt piano, uh, our two felt pianos that we've um, released before. This is a um, slightly different take on, on the kind of practice felt idea, but this is an, a grand piano. It's mic'd and produced by Olafur in a, his own kind of specific way. So we get all of the things, the characteristics that you'll have heard in his music, um, where you can clearly hear the pedal moving and things like that. All of that kind of stuff is controllable. It's set up to be as easy to use as possible, but you can then dive in and start to control all of these different things individually to get exactly the sound that you want. So I'm going to start with the mixed patch and I'm just going to play some simple stuff um, just so you can hear the actual texture itself so have a listen to this So you can hear it's very beautiful. It's dy dynamic, but still very kind of gentle and soft and with a real kind of sound character. Now, there are two things that we're hearing here. So I'm going to dive in and just give you a quick a quick listen to each of those. The first is a mix of the two mics, and that sounds like this. And then we've got the um, ambience element on its own, which sounds like this. Which, as you can hear, it's just a fabulous sound in its own right, but um, blended in sounds really lovely. I'm going to jump to the mics. Um, so you can hear the two mics individually. Here's the 84 first. So that's the 84. And then if we switch to the ribbon, sounds like this. So you can hear in there tons and tons of character. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got in the individual section, um, you've got the Coles ribbons, you've got the KM84 on its own, and then the, the mix blend on its own as well. So um, let us look at some of the other elements in the library. So you can see inside the instruments folder, we've got the Composer Toolkit, the Felt Grand, and the Sonic Warps. So in the Composer Toolkit, there are three sections organic warps, and these are um, all kind of warped with various um, different types of outboard, pedals, all kinds of good stuff, synth embellishments, and then we've got a tempo long locked section, um, which we'll come on to later. So first of all, let's have a look at the organic warps. So you'll notice that this comes up with a slightly different, it's our Mercury engine um, here. So you've got all of these cool controls that you can use to kind of uh, alter the sound to get it exactly the way you want it. But just out of the box, it sounds like this. This is the Evo ambience. So lovely, lovely sound, very inspirational. Let's move on to Olafur's kalimba.
again that's a really great sound you can see we've got two signals here so let's just compare those two So you can hear in there, um, if we just kind of balance these two according to the type of sound that you want, put the uh, delay on as well, sounds like this. And obviously you can um, command click any of these sections to jump in and edit the parameters. A little bit of this. It's got a tiny bit of kind of um, amp distortion in there. There's all kinds of cool stuff in there. So lots of stuff for experimenting. And then here we have the plate space piano out of the box sounding like this. So again, a very cool sound. And then the last one up, Prime Crusher, sounds like this. Oops. <laughs> So again, some lovely sounds in there. Now let's go for the synth embellishments. Now this section is um, my second favorite after the piano. There's some really wonderful programming in here, really great synth programming. So let's have a dive in. I'm just gonna play through a really um, varied kind of um, bag of these different sounds. So let's just start with the basic 60.
I'm going to um, jump ahead a little bit. I, I hope I'm giving giving you, um, I'm kind of trying to play things that might sound like they might be elements in a score, but um, the, the, these kind of sounds are just beautifully created and really um, quite inspiring to play. But beyond that, they do, are going to slot in to um, pieces and either kind of sit behind things really nicely or you can use them to kind of double up parts underneath, kind of in the same way that the felt, Grand Felt is designed with that kind of background um, ambient kind of sound as well, that kind of sound design in there. So let's keep flicking through. This is one of my favorites actually, Soft Entrance, love this one. It sounds like this. two more. nice useful and it goes right down so really really useful sub there let's keep going let's look at some of the tempo locked sounds and if we uh, change the this is lovely pick up the tempo of your sequencer. But just to give you an example. So you can hear what's going on there. It's syncing uh, to the tempo as entered here. Um, let's have a look at a couple of these, a bit more resonant this one. machine that's using on all of these. Get the idea. Do these last two as well. Oh, it's minimized. There we go. And finally, timed delay stab. So you get the idea, some really useful things in there um, that are locked to the tempos that you're using. Now let's go into the sonic warps. So this is taking all of the organic material and then rewarping it again through a variety of different techniques um, using a mixture of outboard and in the box and that sounds like this.
So one thing you'll notice as I'm flicking through these, that we don't, um, th these are incredibly useful in the sense they're not, they're not like massively um, overproduced and over designed, if you know what I mean. They don't suffer from that kind of preset, ki um, you know, keyboard workstation preset syndrome where it sounds incredible when you first load it up and start playing and then you realize that you can't fit it into a track. Um, because there's kind of tons and tons of different things going on. These are um, really useful colors, or lots and lots of different colors, but things that will fit into your productions really easily. Just lots of, lots of really nice, beautiful individual sounds with lots of character. get the idea I could actually just keep playing on and on and on for ages let me play a few more and then we'll move on
Okay, one last one. So you get the idea that there is a ton of stuff in there. Now, um, let's go back to look at the um, felt grand very quickly. And I'm just going to show you some of the controls. So you'll be familiar with the easy tweak layout here. The spanner gets you to the more detailed controls, um, things like the auto pedal volume. You can disable here and then just control that manually if you want for the um, sustained pedal noise. Um, and then we've got a couple of um, extra control. So by default, the pedal dynamics is controlled by the velocity with which you hit the keyboard. Um, and then pedal volume is the actual uh, the actual volume of that pedal noise that you get. So you can disable that on the other on the spanner page by simply deselecting here and then controlling it from here. Now there's a reverb as well here. So I'll just give you a quick example of that. So this is the basic sound. And if we add a bit of this. And you can really take it all the way. If you want that that real kind of distant sound. Um, so and then obviously we've got the also you can control uh, velocity from CC1 as well. Um, and that would appear here. That's the model we'll control there. So that's the front panel of the felt grand. And then with the Mercury synth engine, Again, um, we've been through this in a number of walkthroughs before, so I'm not going to go totally into this. Command click, you get into the controls here. And then as you move these, click and move them, you'll see that you get a kind of visual feedback of what the actual level is there. So really good, uh, very creative stuff in here. There's lots of stuff that you can use to um, alter these sounds and to make them your own and really kind of do your own kind of sound design in there. So that is the Composer Toolkit from Olafur Arnolds. Um, we hope you're going to enjoy using this. I think it's going to become a big favourite. Certainly it's going to be a favourite of mine. There's lots and lots of really great textures in here. Um, so thank you very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.